Good morning children. Today's topic for class 5 and 6 is map, types of maps, language of a map. Map. The word map is derived from the Latin word mato which means a napkin. Now the de definition of a map. A map is a representation of the earth's surface on a or a part of it on a flat surface. Here, see. This is the representation of the earth on a flat surface. See the surface of the earth? It is represented on a flat surface. This is whole part of the earth and this is a part of the earth. Next, maps have many advantages. Maps can be folded, rolled and carried easily. The only a small disadvantage of the map is they cannot show the curved surface. Next. Now coming to types of maps. Political maps. Maps are of two types. In that first one is political maps. These maps show political boundaries of a country countries, states, cities and other political divisions. This is an example of the political map. It shows the political divisions between the states. Here you can see it shows the political divisions between the countries. India, Nepal and China. And it also shows the political divisions between the districts of the states. And the second map is Physical maps. These maps show physical features like mountains, valleys, plains, plateaus, rivers and other water bodies. This is an example of a physical map. Here you can show, see mountains, plateau, plain land, water bodies, rivers. So physical map shows us the physical features. Next topic is atlas. A book of maps is called an atlas. This is an example of atlas. This is a book of atlas. It shows us political maps, physical maps, population maps, climate maps, agricultural maps, history maps and many other maps. It is called a book of maps. Next, how to read a map? There is a language of maps. The first one is directions. When we have to read a map, we must know the language. First language is direction. Like always, the top of the map is north, bottom of the map is south. Right side of the map is east, left side of the map is west. And the direction between north and east is northeast. And the direction between north and west is northwest. Direction between south and east is southeast. And the direction between south and west is southwest. And the second important language of the map is scale. It is a ratio of map distance and the ground distance. For example, 1 cm is equal to 100 km. That means 1 cm will be shown on the map between two places. And uh, that is the map distance. It will be 100 km on the ground. That is on the real earth. So this is an example of 1 cm is equal to 100 km. That is the scale which will be given on the map. And the third language of the map is colors. The, when blue color is shown, that is the water bodies. When brown color is shown on the map, that is mountains. When green color is shown on the map, that is a plain or a lowlands. When yellow color is shown, that is a desert and scrublands. Here is a color scheme. Here blue color shows water bodies. Brown color shows mountains. Green color shows the plain lands or lowlands. 
yellow color shows you deserts and scrub land scrub land means the land where low woody plants grow like shrubs and the fourth language of the map is symbols these symbols are also called conventional symbols why they are called conventional symbols means because these symbols are used worldwide say these symbols will be shown on all the maps in, in all the worldwide in the same manner these are all the real things which we cannot show on the map so the symbols are given and uh, these will be used on the map all over the world and these symbols are called conventional symbols this is the international boundary state boundary metal road bridge stream dam wells fort real things like temple church mosque forest such symbols are given for post office telegraph police station letters are given like po to ps these symbols are universal so this is the uh, language one more uh, fourth language of the map this picture clearly shows us the directions north south east west and sub directions this is an example of a map a map is a flat drawing of, of the whole or a part of the earth surface next types of maps example physical map here is a political map theomatic map that means the map which shows you the type of the soil ownership and the type of the crops grown etc and the task for this class for this lesson is color the physical divisions of india with the color scheme you have studied also mark directions and uh, sub directions and uh, in this map you can see the language of the map at a glance here you can see the directions north south east west here you can see the symbols state boundary national boundary other cities state capitals and here you can see the scale 1 cm is equal to 100 km and here you can see the color scheme blue color is shown for the water bodies thank you all children have a nice day